medal as their sport made its debut in Kuala Lumpur. But victory would be anything but a formality. Australia's rivalry with New Zealand almost guaranteed that the Kiwis would provide one hell of a stumbling block. Michael Roberts reports. A chance at this first historic Commonwealth Games gold medal started 12 months out for Australia. The finishing touches polished up in Singapore a week before the tournament, acclimatising to the Malaysian humidity a worrying factor. And the country billed to test the world champions in the heat was New Zealand. The Silver Ferns, one of only two sides to have defeated Australia in a staggering 73 games. The number one side up against the number three, both crews through their respective pools. Now the trans-Tasman rivalry was on again. Australia played an exhibition match against the Kiwis back in 1990 at the Auckland Games. Simone McInnes and Carissa Toms part of that. In fact, it's virtually been from there Australia has had a stranglehold on world netball. Oh, the pressure from Toms and McInnes incredible on the circle edge as Colling and Harby go down. Fear contesting at the ball. Oh, and again, McMahon straight into the back of Blair. Captain Vicky Wilson, in her 86th test, believed anything less than gold would be a huge disappointment. Her start a nervous one, shooting just 13 points at 50%, and by the half, the skipper was benched. But the find of this campaign, Sherelle McMahon, a fresh-faced goal attack. Oh, McMahon. To think there was some doubt in her selection is difficult to comprehend. The baby of the team racked up veteran-like stats. The defence work from both sides, not allowing either team to get that real flow and speed through court. Brilliant hands, Vicky Wilson onto McMahon. 12 all at quarter time, 24-19 at the long break. Scores level again midway through the third term. It was time for Wilson's return. And Wilson back on the court. The interchange being worked by Jill McIntosh. She'd pull Wilson off at half time in a move that floored many of us. Wilson laying down the law. New Zealand had reeled in the Australians and grabbed a brief glimpse of the lead. But in a flash, the captain slotted nine from 11 attempts in the cutthroat finish. <laughs> Australia by three, 42-39. And despite the scare, proved they're still the best in the business. The crowd erupts here at Stadium Juara and in netball's debut at the Commonwealth Games, world champions Australia have taken gold in a magnificent contest against arch rivals New Zealand. It's Australia 42, New Zealand 39 in one of the best contests you'll ever see in international netball. We it so well, our defenders were just working overtime, bringing the ball down to the forward line, and we hung in there, and, and then we had one of those games where it just went right down the wire once again. Down in the inner sanctum of the Australian dressing room, the emotion spilled over, the realisation of game's glory, but also to farewell a teammate, a real friend. Arguably, the world's best wing defence was giving the game away. Simone McInnes, part of this team for over a decade. I miss the girls and I miss that side of it, but that's life, you've got to move on. You way up to just weigh up things somewhere along the line and you move on. So I'll still be there cheering them on and enjoying the netball, but from the side. <laughs> so for years, this all-conquering netball team has had to sit back and watch other athletes enjoy the thrill of the games. The hot favourites turned it on the first chance they got.